Konami did it again. They did it again. They found a way to break Yu-Gi-Oh! And more particularly, they found a way to make this deck meta again. What's going on with you, big dog? And it is an amazing day for Yu-Gi-Oh! I hope that your day is going phenomenal. And if it isn't, well, don't let what happened at the beginning of your day ruin the rest of your day. Seriously, do not let what happened at the beginning of your day take advantage of the rest of your day. And speaking of days, we are counting them down until Ghosts from the Past 2. Ghosts from the Past 2 has some amazing reprints, but even more importantly, has imported some cards from the OCG that are going to change the entire Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Specifically, the agent strategy that made its debut way back in the day got some insane support to make it a meta deck again. One of the main components that makes this deck so powerful is Master Flare Hyperion. Now this is a level 10 synchro that allows you to be able to send an agent monster or a monster that lists uh, Sanctuary of the Sky in its card text from the deck to the graveyard and copy its effects. It also has the ability to be able to banish cards on your opponent's side of the field when they activate them, making this card a solid form of disruption, but more importantly, allowing you to change its name and its effect to some of the most important cards for the agent strategy. It's even crazier when you realize that this deck can do some one card combos as simply Diviner of Herald is a one card full combo for this deck. What you're gonna do is start off by normal summoning Diviner of Herald, then using its effect to be able to send Trius Hierarchia from your deck to your graveyard. Now Trius Hierarchia was played, if I remember correctly, in Generators. That's the last time I can remember this card as it does have some amazing effects. It being a quick effect, being able to tribute off your fairy monsters, allows you to dodge cards like Infinite Impermanence and Effect Veiler if your opponent were to use it and you were to have it in your hand or graveyard. It also allows you to draw cards and destroy cards on the field. So this card is really good for being able to tribute off Mystic Shine Ball tokens. But right now we're gonna go ahead and use its effect, tributing the Diviner of Herald to summon itself to the side of the field. That will trigger the effect of Diviner of Herald to be able to special summon a monster that not a lot of people know about. Butin is a monster that is a level one fairy tuner that can be special summoned by Diviner of Herald, but also has even greater value for this deck. I then can go ahead and synchro summon into a Peron de Flor. I can link summon into a Guardian of the Agents or make Krishnan Hockley Fibrics here. But what I'm actually going to do is Synchro Summon into the new Master Flare Hyperion, which can use this effect to copy any monster that lists Sanctuary of the Sky from the hand deck or the extra deck. All I have to do is send it to the graveyard. I'm going to use this effect to copy the Agent Creation of Venus, and then I'm going to go ahead and pay 500 life points to summon my first Shine Ball, 500 life points for my second Shine Ball, and then after that, I'm going to pay 500 life points for my third shine ball. So we're gonna go ahead and summon all three shine balls to our side of the build, and we're gonna use the Butin in our graveyard to turn one of our shine balls into a tuner. You should already know what comes after this as Christian Hockley Fibrix is going to be the monster that we summon using its effect to be able to special summon a monster from our decks to our side of the field. The monster is gonna be any level or any fairy monster of your choice. The agent uh, Mystery of Earth is probably one of the best ones as we'll both use both of those monsters for a Link Summon right into Guardian of the Agents. Use the effect of Guard of the Agents to be able to send the Majesty Hyperion from your deck to the graveyard, and then the effect of your Majesty Hyperion can banish the Agent Creation of Venus to be able to Special Summon itself. So this is a very interesting situation. With one card, we have Master Flare Hyperion that allows us to be able to uh, banish one fairy monster from our hand or graveyard, then target one card on the field and banish it when our opponent activates a card or effect. But here's where it becomes really cool. Also, by the way, if you ever thought your opponent would summon Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer on your side of the field, Majesty Hyperion can go ahead and banish Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer or Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer parts, such as Celestial and Dasher, preventing them from using their effects. But the best value of this comes inside of your opponent's turn when you can activate Formula or Christian Hockey Fibrics to be able to special summon Formula Synchro onto your side of the field, use its effect to draw the card that you lost in Diviner of Herald, and then use its other effect to be able to Synchro summon into a Baron de Flor. So that is actually incredibly dope with one card in our hand. 
we can make master flare hyperion which is a form of disruption but also but on the floor which is another form dis of disruption and then be able to draw the card that we lost giving us a grand total of five cards in our hand this next combo is actually going to take diviner or herald and flip it on its head I'm gonna add two more cards to the combo sequence. Uh, one of the cards being a specific card with the Agent of Life Neptune, and then the other card being any random card in your hand to be able to discard. This combo is cracked. We're gonna go ahead and start off by normal summoning Diviner of Herald using its effect to be able to send the Trias Hierarchia from our decks to the graveyard, just like how we did last time. Then the effect of Trias Hierarchia will be able to activate its effect, tributing off the Diviner of Herald will summon itself to the side of the field. Trigger the effect of Diviner of Herald to be able to special summon Butin back from the deck to the side of the field, just like last combo. And then we will follow up by making Master Flare Hyperion. Now, nothing is really going to change here as Master Flare Hyperion will send the Agent of Creation Venus from the deck to the graveyard to be able to copy itself. And then we will use its effect to be able to special summon three Shine Balls to our side of the field. I know you guys love playing Mystical Shine Ball on your deck. It is the best normal monster in Yu-Gi-Oh! Cloudian Turbulence or Moki Moki have nothing on this. As I'm going to use this effect three times to be able to special summon those three Shine Balls. And then I'm going to follow up by activating Butin in our graveyard, which will turn one of the Shine Balls into a tuner. I'm going to go ahead and conduct a Link Summon into Christian Hockley Fabrics with both my Shine Balls using the effect of Christian Hockley Fabrics to be able to special summon a different card this time around. We'll special summon the Agent of Destruction Venus, and then we will perform a Synchro Summon with the Agent of Destruction Venus and our Mystical Shine Ball into another new card from Ghosts from the Past 2. The Executor of the Underworld Pluto is an incredibly cracked card. It says once per turn you can banish one monster from your graveyard then target one effect monster on the field change it to face down defense position then this is a quick effect if sanctuary of the sky is on your field or in your graveyard you can also banish this card to add one sanctuary of the sky from your graveyard or your deck to your hand this card is amazing but we're going to go ahead and keep on with our combo as we will activate the effect of the agent of life neptune to be able to special summon from our graveyard to our side of the field venus since we do have uh, the effect of Venus that we can activate, we will pay 1,000 life points to be able to special summon back two Shine Balls to our side of the field. And we will be able to play some major games. Using both Mystical Shine Ball and the Agent of Destruction Venus, we will link summon into Guard of Agents, and then we'll activate this monster's effect to be able to send Majesty Hyperion from the deck to the graveyard. I'll then activate the effect of Majesty Hyperion. I'll use its effect to banish the Agent of Life Neptune to be able to special summon itself to the side of the field and then trigger the effect of the Agents of Life Neptune. Neptune will add the Sanctuary of the Sky from my deck to my hand. And look, Pluto now becomes a flip effect. It is now able to flip monsters from face up to face down defense position, what actually will come up. We'll go ahead and use both the uh, guard and the last mystical, mystical shine ball for our last link summon. We will link summon into the celestial night nor Parshoth. And this card actually has an incredible effect, allowing you to add a sanctuary of the sky or a card that mentions sanctuary of the sky. But if you have sanctuary of the sky in your hand, you can go ahead and activate this effect, discarding a card from your hand to be able to add any fairy. Forget about the artifact scythe lock. I'm going to add Arc Lord Christia from my deck to my hand and here's where this deck gets completely insane i'm gonna go ahead and pass it off to my opponent's turn and then during the main phase i'll be able to use the effect of christian hockley fibrics using its effect to be able to special summon formula synchron to my side of the field and then of course i'll draw with a copy of formula synchron and i'll chain its effect to be able to synchro summon with that, I will synchro off into a battle on the floor using the Formula Synchron and the Majesty Hyperion. And now the effect of my Celestial Parshath will activate. I can banish any of my monsters in the graveyard and then I can just straight up special summon Arc Lord Christia to my side of the field due to its effect, meaning that I have one, two, three disruptions with the opponent not being able to special summon to their side of the field, but it still gets worse. During the end phase, I can activate the effect of my Pluto. I can banish a monster from my graveyard. 
I'm gonna go ahead and banish the card that I discarded to flip the Arc Lord Christia phase down, meaning on the following turn, I can actually special summon on my side of the field. And when I'm done, I can just flip my Arc Lord Christia back face up. This is incredible. As my opponent can't use board breaking cards like Super Polymerization, really popular in the format, not that they ever really could but they can't special summon as opposed to not being able to special summon from the extra deck we take it a little bit further the next combo that this deck has actually can go so many different ways it actually requires the agent of mystery earth and you can have neptune or venus in your hand this is full combo i'm going to go ahead and start off by normal summoning the agent of mystery earth using its effect to be able to add Neptune from our deck to our hand or Venus, and then we'll activate Neptune's effect to be able to special summon Venus from our hand to the side of the field. From here, we'll go ahead and use the effect of Venus paying 500 light points. We'll be able to special summon our first mystical shine ball. Then we will use its effect again. We'll pay another 500 light points to special summon our second mystical shine ball. Then one more time to be able to special summon our third mystical shine ball. We'll go ahead and use two copies of our Mystical Shine Balls for a Link Summon. We'll link into our new Link Agent Monster using its effect to be able to send Majesty Hyperion from the deck to the graveyard. And then we will use Agent Mystery of Earth and the Guard for a Link Summon into our Krishton Hockley Fibrix. Hockley Fibrix effect will activate Special Summoning Diviner of Herald to our side of the field. And then we'll perform our Synchro Summon into Cupid Pitch using Mystical Shine Ball and our Diviner of Herald. Using the effect of Mystical or Cupid Pitch, we will decrease its level by two, and then we'll activate the effect of our Majesty Hyperion. We'll banish from our graveyard the Agent of Life Neptune to summon itself to the side of the field, triggering the effect of the Agent of Life Neptune to be able to add the Sanctuary of the Sky. This actually still continues to get more cracked as we will go ahead and Synchro Summon into our majesty hyperion and then we'll trigger the effect of our cupid pitch inflect a thousand and neptune just so happens to be a monster with 600 defense and less than eight stars that we can add to our hand we've also already gained the effect of agent creation of venus so we'll use master flare hyperion to be able to send the agent destruction of venus and gain its effects we'll use the effect to be able to pay 1500 more life points two special summon three mystical shine balls to our side of the field and this is going to be completely incredible we'll summon our three shine balls to our side of the field then activate our sanctuary of the sky we'll then follow up by link summoning straight into our parsha and then we'll use our parsha discarding our neptune we can add the arc lord christia here we can also add the trap card let me go ahead and show you the new trap card from this deck we can add Lost Sanctuary, which allows us to provide a form of negation when it's activated and set a card like Sanctuary of Sky or a card that lists Sanctuary of Sky to our side of the field. This card is amazing, but I'm showing you Arc Lord Christia as this is a complete blowout card against a lot of strategies in Yu-Gi-Oh! Against the slower paced decks like Fluendaris, then of course you would probably want to go into your Lost Sanctuary instead of your Arc Lord Christia. So, from here, we are going to use the effect of the Agent of Creation Venus, using its effect to be able to special summon two more Shine Balls to our side of the field. And if you guys wanted to, instead of placing the uh, Majesty Flare Hyperion right here, you could have placed it in any other zone, turned one of these into a Link Spider, and then you could have made a uh, Opelousa Bull of the Goddess with four negations, which I think is pretty cool. But the combo I'm going to show you is a little more insane. I've always loved being able to get the cards that I invested back or get enough cards that no matter what the situation happens, if my opponent doesn't win right there, then I can have a comeback strategy. So we'll go ahead and end our turn. And then on our opponent's turn, we'll activate the effect of Krishton Hockley Fabrics. We can use the effect to be able to spell summon Formula Synchron to our side of the field. And then we'll draw a card with Formula Synchron and then <laughs> trigger its effect. This is going to summon an incredible monster. You can summon Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier, banish a card on your opponent's side of the field, banish a card in their hand, and banish a card in their graveyard, non-targeting and non-negotiable. That card is completely cracked, but let's say you're more in the business of getting cards. Well, I can make Adam Adorned Crocosaur, or <laughs> I can make Ravenous Crocosaur 
use the effects of the ravenous crocosaur as chain link one protecting myself from ash blossom and joy spring and then using the effect of the celestial parshath banishing a card in my graveyard i'm gonna go ahead and banish the agent of creation venus we'll be able to special summon arc lord christia to our side of the field locking our opponent out of special summoning and then we will draw three additional cards meaning that we drew four cards from that particular sequence on our opponent's turn we can use the effect of ravenous crocosaurus to destroy a card on our field our opponent can't special summon and we still have the disruption with master flare hyperion agents are completely cracked and that is all that I have for Agents Post Ghost from the Past. This deck is amazing, but please tell me exactly what do you think about Agents? Should we do a Friday night Yu-Gi-Oh of this deck? Is it going to be the next tier one deck? And is there some other strategies that you want me to showcase from Ghost from the Past too? Of course, if you want to see more amazing content, then go ahead and check out these videos. And if you want to see more Master Duels duels, then go ahead and check out Master Duel Cali. I'll also be streaming today at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So until then, I'll catch you on the next video.